to the light to land. Do you see what I see? Way up in the sky, little lamb. Do you see what I see? A star, a star, dancing in the night with a tail as big as a kite. With a tail as big as a kite. Said the little lamb to the shepherd boy, Do you hear what I hear? Ringing through the sky, shepherd boy. With a voice as big as the sea With a voice as big as the sea Said the shepherd boy to the mighty king Do you know what I know? In your palace wall Mighty King, do you know what I know? A child, a child, shivers in the cold, let us bring him silver and gold, let us bring him silver and gold. Said the king to people everywhere Listen to what I say Pray for peace people everywhere Listen to what I say The child, the child Sleeping in the night He will bring us good and light He will bring us goodness and light May I extend a very warm welcome to you all to our celebration of Christmas words and music. This year has been an exceptionally challenging one for our world in so many ways but I am so proud to say that throughout it all, Oakfield has remained resilient, creative, and determined to approach life with a can-do attitude. My thanks and appreciation go to each member of our school family for everything that you have all done to support the children and Oakfield. For Christians, the story of the birth of Jesus has a special meaning. But for many people, this season of the year also represents a celebration of light, joy, peace, and spending time with loved ones as family traditions are shared. Christmas will, without doubt, feel different for many of us this year, but I'm sure that we will share a sense of hope and the certainty of light overcoming the darkness. We hope that you will enjoy the readings and music that we will be sharing with you. And I know that the children will move and inspire us as they always do with their words and their singing. 
I would like to express huge thanks to our Director of Music, Mr Howes, the instrumental teachers and all the other staff who have contributed to creating the various Christmas performances across our school this year. It has also been the greatest honour and privilege this term to work alongside our head girl and head boy, Izzy and Sam, who have carried out their duties with enormous poise, charm and commitment. Their final task will be to present badges to the new head girl and boy, who will take over in January and these names will be announced in our final newsletter of this term. Finally, I would like to leave you with some words from the prophet Isaiah as he foretold the coming of Jesus. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Whatever your own culture, tradition, belief, and whether you have faith or none, I hope that there will be light, peace, joy, and laughter in your hearts and homes this Christmas time. Happy Christmas, everyone, and a wonderful new year to come. The Christmas story begins with a message, a very important message. Mary receives the message that she was going to have a special baby. We have also been busy writing messages to Father Christmas about the presents we would like and telling him how we have been getting on this year. We have all had to change the way we communicate this year and we have found ourselves sending more and more messages virtually rather than face to face. We have launched Oakville Radio so that we can all find out what other Oakville children have are getting up to. And for the first time, we are bringing you a Christmas celebration virtually. We hope you enjoy the message just as much.
Christmas story continues with Mary and Joseph traveling to a new unknown place and finding they have nowhere to stay. But luckily, with the help of a kind stranger, they were able to improvise. Similarly, this year has required us to all find creative solutions to unexpected problems. At Oakwood, we had a period of adapting to online learning earlier. This year, we need to be extra resilient. Since returning to school, we have continued to find lots of different ways to adapt and overcome adversity. We have all really enjoyed thinking outside of the box. watching their sheep all night when angels appeared to them. The angel said, Do not worry, for we bring you good news and joy for all your people. We wanted to think about the theme of good news and things that have brought joy to the world over the past year. We have rounded up some of our favourite news stories of 2020 to share with you all. In the late district, a jetpack ambulance test flight was tested out for the first time, meaning paramedics were soon able to reach and treat stranded patients faster than ever before. Less traffic and pollution has resulted in cleaner air and water in India. The peaks of the Himalayas, Himalayas could be seen for the first time in decades all over all over and all over the world wildlife and plant life have been returning to rosal oceans lego has unveiled a project to help blind children learn in a braille and playful and engaging way blind children can use special lego bricks mounted with the same studs used for letters in the braille alphabet to help them with learning to read
story continues. We meet wise men who came with lavish gifts for baby Jesus. The shepherds wanted to share gifts too, but unlikely the wise men, they had nothing of substantial values to offer. So they thought about how they could be generous in their own special way. All over the world, it is the custom to exchange presents to show our love to one another at Christmas, and we especially love receiving presents from Santa. It's been touching this year to see communities come together to support each other, making rainbow banners and checking on neighbours. People have been generous with their time and skills, talents. Joe Wick's film PE lessons that so many of us at so many of us at Eggfield enjoyed. Captain Tom Moore raised more, millions of pounds for the NHS Dadbill Calgary. A hundred year old man raised money for coronavirus victims, both by walking laps of their gardens. Many children at Oakfield also wanted to share their support and what, thought what they could do to help their communities. Back in March, we all made thank you cards for the NHS workers, which were sent to all the different London hospitals. Ray in Year 5 used her artistic skills to create a huge banner displayed at King's Hospital, and Taylor in Year 6 cycled to raise money for the Karuna Trust. This time we have been busy raising lots of money for place to be and children in need. When we think of Christmas and the Christmas story, we often think of family and the centre of the nativity story is the family of Mary, Joseph and baby Jesus, who are grateful to be together, even if it's just a stable. We too feel especially grateful to our families at this time and so excited to head into the holidays to spend time with our loved ones. 
People all over the world look forward to having time to spend with their family over the Christmas season and take part in a special tradition with their family to mark the time of year. Many of us will all have already decorated their Christmas tree together as a family or put wreaths on our doors. Families place candles and paper lanterns in their windows or and gardens. In Iceland, family members exchange books on Christmas Eve and spend the night curled up with a good story. Your family may have its own special Christmas tradition, or maybe this year can be the year to start one. For many of us, Christmas might look a little different this year. It may be that we celebrate virtually with some family members instead, rather than in person. Over the months, we have already had to adapt to the way we see and spend time with our extended families and it's made us cherish them even more dearly. This might be hard for us, particularly at Christmas, but we know that our love for one another will be just as palpable even through a screen. Of all the themes that can be found within the Christmas story, the theme of hope is perhaps the most resounding. However you celebrate Christmas, it is a time full of hope. Whether it's the feeling of hope when you're rushing down the stairs to see if Father Christmas has been and what he has brought, or the feeling of hope that the birth of Jesus Christ brings to Christians. This year has been challenging and uncertain. In difficult times, we look for hope, something to look forward to and someone to reassure us. We have so much to look forward forward to and be hopeful for. Year six taking their entrance exams to senior schools. Members of staff like Mrs Walker making a, an exciting move and Miss Morrill expecting a baby in the new year. We are looking forward to Christmas break and are hopeful for everything that the new year will bring. We hope you have enjoyed this Christmas celebration and that you have lots to look forward to in the year ahead. We would like to finish with some thoughts from Oakville children about what they feel hopeful for. Merry Christmas, everyone. I'm going to look forward to for the virus to end and seeing my nanny in Mauritius with my uncles and aunties. I'm hopeful for family fun and games. I wish that the school would be back to normal and we could see each other again. See my grandparents. Christmas! Summer! Learning how to do a backflip. Maybe I'm going to go and go holiday in the camp. In 2021, I'm looking forward to a COVID free world. I'm hopeful for that when everyone comes back from the Christmas holiday, everyone's smiling. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas!